Before starting this video, here are some catchy facts. <laughs> this is what I was tempted to do. <laughs> you said that so deadpan, it almost sounded like you're serious. I use a microwave. <laughs> that makes the two of us. Frozen meals and convenience store food are tasty enough, don't you think? Hey, hey guys, it's MK78 back here with more of Persona 5 in this one. Uh, we are just starting the month of... Is it August? That's August. <laughs> I don't know the dates on the top of the high head. So we just started August and we finished ranking uh, Kasumi for now. So things are going to plan towards the true red date. One of those three is checked. Okay, my plan is to hang out with Yusuke, but I'm gonna go get a DVD player real quick. See you later. Wait, 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 no! Oh no! I was just gonna run. Uh, did I screw myself? It came out of Dang it! Welcome. Okay. So I was against getting the game stuff, but I didn't realize that it didn't take time. No, it takes time, but you didn't have to return it. Let me double check with that by spending a little money. It says rental shop, though. Yep. Ooh, a DVD rental shop. They have an annual membership campaign. Welcome. Would you like to apply for our annual membership campaign? If you're a student, it's 48000 during our campaign. That's pretty useful if you're going to do that a lot. Uh, actually, I don't know if it'll be useful for me at this point because I don't have much more time. Rent all the old DVDs you want. Perfect. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I went through the trouble, so I might as well. Hey, hey! <laughs> you were shaking your hands when you wrote Red Kuruzu. You were nervous. But am I not who I am? <laughs> that sounds sketchy. <laughs> yeah, I can. B Take a look around. All right, there is a lot of DVDs. This one I want to get because it's a uh, reference to a TV show I like. Will this unlock the fishing? I don't know if it will. I want to leave it alone. I guess I'll do Ryuji. It's been a while since we've seen the guy. Anyways, what you up to? What are you really doing right now? Just having to wait doesn't jive with me. I'm, I'm at the arcade in Shibuya. Let me know if anything comes up. Let's go. Got it. All right. Hey, Ryuji, what's up? What's up? Ah, oh, I'm not digging all this sitting around crap. So, you you know how we're looking for somewhere where we could train? Well, I finally found a spot. We're free to do whatever we want. How about we head on over there? Let's do it. Hang out with him. It's a gym over in Shibuya. Pretty damn cheap, too. Come on, I'll show you the way. The rain stopped. This has gotta be it. Here we are, Protein Lovers Gym. It's a pay per visit, so you don't gotta worry about any bullshit contracts or nothing. The equipment's kinda crappy, but they got a tons of variety. Plus, it's really damn cheap. Totally worth it without the pool or hot tub. By the oh, way. yeah. You bring your stuff? A protein powder? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. If you wanna beef up, you gotta. Wait, that I'd eat it. I'm talking about spare undies. What? <laughs> oh, I guess that makes sense. Get back in your sweaty clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Oh wait, but don't get your ho hopes up. No way I'm gonna let you use mine. Wanna get going? Anyways, let's head in. Okay, so he's now gonna call me gross. <laughs> Ooh. My form's coming back, but I don't got any stanima. <coughs> Sakamoto? Morning. 
Keta Senpai? What's Bonkin? Bonkin? You say the strangest thing. Is that how you greet a friend? I've been trying to come up with some cool new slang. Maybe it'll catch on. You can't just do that. Oh, and you don't need to call me senpai anymore. I already graduated, remember? Hmm? I haven't seen you before. Were you on the track team? Him? He's a, a friend. By the time he showed up, the track team was already... Well, you know. Speaking of which, how's your leg? Uh, I'm managing. How about you, senpai? You still running? Actually, I joined my university's track team. You think I'd quit entirely after what happened? <sighs> About that, I'm really sorry. No, I'm... I should be the one apologizing. I was supposed to be the leader of our team, yet I resigned myself to just Kamashid as well. <clears throat> That's because you needed him to write your letter of rec, right? You were just looking out for your future, but I still managed to F it up anyways. Kabashi had never intended on writing my letter of recommendation. You're just an excuse not to. And honestly, I enjoy where I am now. The track team isn't anything special, but it's perfect for me. So in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, Kamado. Senpai. I've always regretted not doing war to protect you guys. But I heard some good news recently. The Shujin track team's being reinstated. For real? I mean, Kabashida confessed all the horrible stuff he did, right? I guess the school got the old team got to get got the old team together and the, told them they wanted to start setting it up again. Nobody told me that. Huh? Odd. The rumors got as far as me and I'm not even a student anymore. Anyway, I heard they're gonna get Mr. Yamabuchi as their new advisor. Huh? Yamabuchi? Hold on. That Yamabuchi yeah. yeah, it's Yamabuchi. Oh my gosh. I am very bad at pronouncing things. <laughs> yep, the one who was basically Kabashida's lapdog. Apparently, he volunteered. He's really enthusiastic about pulling the track team up from the ashes. He is. You know, now that the team is being reinstated, there's no an need for any bad blood, right? Why don't you talk to them? I'm sure they could use someone with your passion. Yeah. Hmm. So the track team's coming back. Good for them. You seem conflicted. Nah, not really. For real though, I'm glad the team's coming back. It's sweet that Nakako and uh, them could get started trained again. But I'm really about their worried about their advisor, Yamamuchi. He's being. Yamamuji. God, I keep forgetting fucking that up. <laughs> he's basically like a mini Kamashita. So he's an asshole? Uh... Basically. He'd always yell at us at practice, but would then be a huge kiss ass when our parents were around. Ugh, I can't believe a moron like that is going to be advice of the track team. He doesn't even teach PE. He's going to be up to something. I'll do some research. There's a chance I'm gonna need your help too, okay? You breathe, you'd be free to lend me a hand if I need it, yeah? I'll be counting on you. Uh, Alright, we got a deeper bond. Rank 5. Alright. Alright, we don't need to go be messing around here anymore. Let's head home. Wait, I gotta shower first. Yo, what's bonkin'? About that stuff today, I can't really let myself be happy about the tech team started up again. Like I said earlier, there's just something fishy about Yamabuchi being the advisor. But I mean, if anything happens, I know you got my back, so I ain't too worried. Don't worry, I gotcha. Thanks, man. I know I can count on you. I mean, we don't know for sure if anything sketchy is going on. But when I get these gut feelings, they're usually right. Well, if I hear anything, I'll hit you up. Okay, later. Cool. <laughs> All right, now it's uh, evening. You're back. Hey, hey. 
I do have Sudi armor and I could take it to Kichijoji. Oops. Okay, I decided I wanted to do Hifumi. You have more talent, natural aptitude for this than I thought. In addition to skills, you seem to have a lot more ambition. As long as I'm your instructor, I must measure your progress. Therefore, I'd like to take you somewhere after our match today. Would you like to go? Yeah, we should go. Excellent. After our match, I'll take you down to Booktown. Booktown, yeah? Jibacho. Old books piled high. All right. I can invite Pierre. I can also go there for some shopping. It probably has good books now, don't it? <laughs> that was a good match. I really do enjoy teaching you. You're such a quick learner. Today, I thought it would help you find something to trade on your own. The bookstore is filled with shogi-related books. I've been coming here a lot lately. There's also a curry restaurant just around the curve. Quarter. I recommend their katsu curry. I always eat katsu curry before an important match for good luck. Hifumi? Oh, hello. I hope your match event went till today. What are you talking about? Today's our day off! My apologies, I forgot there are any matches scheduled for today. Out shopping with your boyfriend? Hm, how nice for you. I should be praised. You are a famous shogi player after all. Well, I won't intrude. Bye. Sorry. Sorry. She was only glaring at you because you were with me. She's my senior. I defeated her in a recent title match. Uh... It must have been the curry. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yes, I did have katsu curry before that match. The truth is, I'm not very well liked by my seniors. The more I get attention, the more enemies I make, and the more lies that are spread about me. Oh, perhaps it's odd to compare myself to them, but I wonder if it's the same for the Phantom Thieves. People are so divided about them on the internet. Some love them, while others hate them. I can't help but see these similarities between us. What do you think about them? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it else is kind of stuffy. Kind of, but not really. Uh, I think they're cool. Although, that would somewhat reveal my identity. I'm going to say they're cool. Though. I feel the same way, actually. It's amazing what that they're doing what they do, even though so many people criticize them. They give me courage. But their victories can't be won with that alo will alone. How do they change a person's heart? Oh, I'm interested from a tactical standpoint, and... Oh, I'm sorry. I realized we're really off topic. I feel like I've become a lot more talkative as of late. I usually don't talk this much. You're a lot... You're more than just someone I could practice my new moves with. You're someone I could confide in. I look forward to um, it. If you don't mind this sort of thing, I would like would m mind and chat with you again. Alright, cool. That almost sounded like... I was worried there because uh, I thought it was a confession of love. But nope, no, 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 we're good. Well, it's kind of it's kind of a confession of love, but it's not the one. Because the, the one happens at rank 9. Oh yes, there's a book I'd love to, for you to read. Let's go. Let's go. Until next time. Oh, until our next match, take care. Hello. Thank you for accompanying me today. My intention was to show you how great Jinbochu is, but I ended up talking about myself. My apologies. I was shocked, though. Ordinarily, I don't talk that much, I assure you. Perhaps it's because I never had friends at school who I could talk about with Shogi. I hope this won't discourage you from spending time with me. Really, I would be delighted to do this again. Alright. Where shall we go next? What? Well, let's see. I give up. There are too many places I'd like to visit. I cannot narrow it down to one. Other than used books and katsu curry, there are many things I'd like to recommend in the city. If you have 
If you have the chance, perhaps next week time we can explore in more of the city. Well, I'm afraid I must go. I'll see you at the church. Medjed probably is bored. <laughs> they blew off a catchy. Uh, no kitty, no. I, I'm trying to make him behave a little better. He's not working. It's not, it's not easy to do that. Alright. Damn, it's hot. What's up? Man, this is crazy. I can't keep up with the constant influx of pros. It's tough being popular space for days. Anyways, here's the latest lead I have. This one seems to be about someone abusing their powers. I wonder if it was written by a former employee of the company in question. Apparently one of the higher ups has been claiming the achievements of a subordinate that is his own. That really sucks. He's not- Oh, that's a business sense. I don't want to say he's not. You can't just seriously be accepting of that. Wow! Both responses were bad and I didn't realize it until he just said that. Okay, anyways. Now I know the name of the company, but I don't have any details on this person myself. The company is over at Shijuku, so try asking around places where businessmen can hang out. A bar at night might be a good start. That would also be a good place to get more info of this situation. I hope this isn't asking much of you. Sorry, I'm looking for another one just in case. Okay, so we got that, but we have to get more information before we do anything. Do you have plans? Do you have plans? We've done what we can. All, now, all that we can do now is wait. I have some things to take care of and it will be in the school's vicinity. Let me know if you need anything. Let's do it. Oh, okay. I'm in front of the school gates. Hey, Makoto. Well, all we can do now is wait. Um, if you're available, I'd like to talk to you about Aiko. Let's do it. I have a small favor to ask you. Shall we go? Let's get a drink before we talk. Oh, and we can take the back entrance into the school. We snuck into the school during summer break to get this done. <laughs> Sorry. Apparently, Aiko has started dating a host from the club near her work. I guess he, um, hit her on one day after the shift, and that was that. Since then, he's the only thing she'll ever talk about. She even t sent me a picture of their date at Destinyland. He sounds suspicious. You think so as well? For now, it seems he hasn't forced her to spend any money at his club, but I'm still nervous. Beyond that, he calls her his princess and calls, constantly tells her how special she is. It makes me sick to my stomach. <sighs> but Aiko refuses to listen to me. She said the idea that all hosts are bad people is outdated. She even, she even says she was shocked to be getting advice from someone who would totally flunk a test about love Aww. tests about love aren't a thing though and even if they were I most certainly wouldn't flunk them uh sorry about that I'm probably just being biased toward him I mean I don't have any proof that he's untrustworthy but that's why I want to meet him and find out for myself what kind of person he is and if it's not too much to ask, I'd like you to accompany me on this excursion as well. Uh, well, this time, um, you'll have to play the role of my boyfriend. Uh, I got this. This is honest. It's honestly okay. You're so reliable, Renkun. I think if I have a boyfriend, Aiko might be more inclined to listen to me. Actually, to tell you the truth, I had actually already made plans with her and her boyfriend for a double date. S sorry, but it's nothing good. But it's just going to be at a diner. Nothing particularly fancy, I promise. Thank you. Thank you. You're a tremendous help. I'm so sorry. I'm so glad you agreed to this. I don't know who else I'd have to ask if you said no. All right. I think this is the one where she, um, I've, I've completed her before. I think this is, right. this next one though, I can't do unless I'm Max Charm, however. I go, I hope she's not getting herself wrapped up in anything dangerous. 
But just in case, I'll try looking for some info on that host. Alright then. Well, I'll see you later. Sorry, I had to ask you something so unreasonable. I appreciate you going along with it, though. Do you think Aiko's really okay? I hope I'm just being paranoid about her boyfriend. But if it turns out he really is toying with Aiko, what should we do? Fist of Justice? <laughs> Uh, I want to say this just because it's funny. Out of the question, we end up on arrested for salt. You of all people need to be careful about that. You're under probation. <laughs> I figured as much. But <laughs> Phew, I keep thinking in circles here. I need to stop dwelling on the negative. Let's see for this house for who is... Who is behind this smile? For Aiko's sake. Okay, I'll call you later. Oh, you probably won't. I don't have uh, max charm. I only have rank 3 charm. So that's ah, a bummer. You're back. Yep, I am back. And let's see. There wasn't really anyone I could hang out with today, so I'm going to show off something different. I'm going to show off myself working at this flower shop over here. Now I can cook travel. If I remember correctly, you applied for a part-time job here, right? I think they only needed people to work in the daytime. You could work another time. Welcome. Oh. Never mind. I thought it was both day and night. Is it not? I want to go... I want to go into the bar and see if I can get a job here. Because if you work here for a bit, we can get the information oh, from Mementos. You're here again, boy? Don't blame me if you get eaten alive, okay? <laughs> okay, I actually wanted to talk to you and not the devil. That's rough. What? Don't know don't you know it's not polite to stare? It, this sort of thing is unusual around here. Oh. Oh wait, maybe I have to oh, Do I really have to progress her to get the job here? Fine. Hmm? Oh, hey, where's my glass? Didn't I order a refill? How much did I drink today? What time is it? Oh, who cares? Wait, I care. Mm. We should try to form a deal with her. Now then. Keep that in mind. She's drunk. Now do, go, do a good job negotiating, okay? Should be easy if she's drunk. Jesus. Hey, Lalachan. Are you sure this isn't just water? If you're trying to rip me off, I'm going to reveal all your secrets in a feature article. Oh, it's you! Yeah, it's me. Please, have a seat. So, what's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? I don't remember having to work this hard for you, woman. Or maybe... You're just falling in love with me, hmm? No. I have Phantom Thief news. I wanna be, I wanna be direct. For real? You came all this way just to tell me? Thank God. My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. Man, this will really help me out. Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Ah, oh, don't be such a killjoy. These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. Besides, what's most important is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. Whatever. So, what do you want from me this time? Information about someone? Cold hard cash? I'll let you know later. Huh? <laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared! Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. As if. What do you want? Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kanishiro, right? Well, 
He got arrested soon after. So don't think that I can't put two and two together. Damn. Something's fishy. The bad guys are bad. So you're being swayed by the Phantom Thieves, huh? But I see what's going on here. A hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy. Huh. Hey, I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you can take a vacation. A vacation? Oh, <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Don't tell me you're... Hey, how about we do this? You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves, and I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. You know, the Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. Deal? Sounds great. All right then, it's a deal. I can create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves, so be sure to give me some good scoops. Oh god, Sco the word "scoo" is coming to mind. <laughs> no! I don't really like this woman at all, but I have to do this so I can work at the bar. Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? Oh, it was besides that. That happens naturally. What do you have to say to that? Nothing. I am thou. Being sassy thou over art here. I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the devil persona. I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alright, our first one. Rumor-filled scoop. Decrease the security level when you find a new safe room. That is helpful, but the other ones are meh. Oh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. Okay, Lala Chan, time to celebrate our agreement. Bring out my bottle and two glasses, please. Oh, come on, please. I'm just Whoa. a kid. Her silence is golden. You're loud. Fine, fine, fine. I won't make the high schooler drink. Oh, <laughs> I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. You should go home. My charm is increased from piquing her interest. Great. Good. You take care now. Alright, be careful on your way home. Don't stick around Shijuku too long after dark, honey. We get a lot of shady types coming out of the woodwork. Lala Chan, where'd you go? Hey, Lala Chan, come on, where are you? Honestly, that lady's gonna be the death of me. You better head home. If she catches you, you're in for an all nighter. Sounds like a good time. Doing, wait, doing what is what I'm wondering? Well, at the very least, Ichiko Chan's probably gonna drink until she, sunrise. And since she's such in a good mood, she'll probably make you stick around until she's done. Well, I better get back inside. You are always welcome here, but you need to head straight home tonight. Got it? Yes, yes. God, that's annoying. Huh? Who could it be at this hour? I'm gonna be on standby at the hideout. I'll bring over a DVD that's perfect for stinking hot this summer. Oh my gosh! I just got the DVD player in this episode, so you are in for a treat, Ryuji. <laughs> we could watch in your room, yeah? Oh, don't worry about me if you got stuff to do. I could keep myself busy. That settles it. See you tomorrow! Hmm. Ryuji's coming to tomorrow? Huh. 
It's gonna be all noisy all day. <laughs> That's how I feel sometimes. <laughs> Alright. Do you hear the cries of joy? I'm talking about the sun and burst of posts we got on the fan site. It must be popular because of how popular the fans of these are. It's all thanks to you. Me? I wouldn't he mind hearing a little of that more often. Anyway, let me tell you about the most interesting thing I've found so far. Indiscriminate acts of violence in Shibuya. Pretty scary, huh? I couldn't find much more than that, though. All the posts mention rumors that they heard in the underground mall of Shibuya, but nothing else. It's not super reliable. It'd be good if we could find out more of those rumors, of the but my presence is limited to the web. You might want to try and learn it on your own if you're interested. Hey, hey Red, one of your friends is here to visit. He's super loud. <laughs> Sounds like it's Ryuji down there. Come on, let's go downstairs. I will do that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys.